Generation with three of our YouTube friends. So check out Brown Girls Hair, Little Mind Catchers. And Lady Justice YouTube channels. The cute little hair sign. There's little ones here too. Four back to school. Hey friends! So friends, this is our style for the Backs to School collaboration. I had put up a poll on Facebook and everybody loved this style the best. Now I first did it this way and then I ended up switching it to this way. I like the second way better, but um. I did actually kind of do a tutorial for both, so let's get started. So I started off by creating a part from one side to the other, and I didn't have a guide this time. And then I'm gonna use some of this passion fruit control paste, and I'm just gonna put that on her edges with my toothbrush. And then I'm gonna use my new soft bristle brush to lay down her edges. I love this brush. And now I'm going to put the elastic in and you just want to make sure that you put the elastic right on that part. So right on that line. Try to as best as you can anyways. And I find that it's easier to get it on that line if you just ask her to put her head down while you're getting that elastic in. So for the next part, what you're going to do is make like a half moon part. That's what it looks like when you're done anyways. And what I did was I just used the inner parts of her eyebrows as my guide for both those parts. So now the hair that I'm not working with, I'm just going to put in a ponytail and then you're going to take that half moon shape and you're going to split it in the middle. You're just going to create a part and you're going to use the elastic as your guide to where that middle is. And friends, I ended up going back and making that moon shape part a little bit bigger. So after you split that in the middle, what you want to do is take that ponytail that you made and split that hair in half into two pieces. And then you're going to take the hair that you made that moon shape and you split it in half. And you want to take one of those halves and combine those two pieces together and put an elastic in it. So friends, I really hope that you understood that because I don't have the footage for that. I either deleted it accidentally or I didn't press play, which sometimes happens when making videos, but I really, really hope that you understood what I said. And then another thing that you're gonna wanna do is pull some hair out to make it a little bit fluffier at the top to make a bubble shape. So now we're gonna go and make another part and you wanna make these parts as thick or as thin as you want the bubble to look. So I, I actually did uh, the style before this one and I didn't really like how I did the parts because they were thinner. I really like how that bubble looks when it's much bigger. And friends, also I want to mention that if you notice, my best friend, which is the spray bottle, has not been in this video. And the reason for that is, is because I like how it looks when it's not so watered down and wet, I guess you could say. I wanted that fluffy look, so I was kind of making it... Uh, I guess frizzy and I didn't use a comb I just used my fingers so I could get a big nice big bubble and to get that bubble what you have to do after you put that elastic in is you want to uh, pull out see how I'm pulling out the hair and I'm making it big that's what you want to do to make your bubble So now we're just gonna do the same thing for this part and you're just gonna put an elastic in there and after you get that elastic in, you're just gonna pull up some hair to make it bubbly. And I should also mention that you wanna make sure that you wrap those elastics around. I just wrapped it around twice so it gave me room to bring up some of that hair when I'm like pulling out the hair. Um, you don't want it to be too tight because you're just going to mess up her hair when you do that. And now as you can see for the end part, I just tucked that end underneath her hair. And I ended up putting a pin there just to hold it, but I'll show you that coming up a little later. So friends, this is how it looked when I did it smaller parts. Um, those parts don't look that small, but I had like an extra part in there and I ended up um, taking that part out and making them bigger and I much rather the bigger parts the bigger puff balls But some of you might rather this one this type away So you would want to just part it a little bit smaller 
And then if you noticed, I did take a pin, not a bobby pin, but a hair pin. It's a little bit wider than a bobby pin. And I just tucked that, I, I put it in between the elastic part that so it was easier to hold. And then just tucked it under that ponytail, I guess you could say. So my friends, there you have it, a back to school hairstyle for your little ones when they go back to school. And don't forget to check out our friends who have also done back to school hairstyles, Brown Girls Hair, Little Mind Catchers, and Lady Justice. Check them out because they do have some cute hairstyles as well, just in case you don't like mine, but go ahead, check them out. And don't forget to like this video if you like this tutorial and subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you friends, bye.